This is the AEW Rampage October 11, 2024 full show results video which takes place at Spokane Arena in Spokane, Washington. The show started with a match between the conglomeration versus Undisputed Kingdom. The heels catch OC's crossbody dive, but Kyle swings Orange's feet around so he can use the momentum to hit a DDT on them and Kyle works over Bennett with kicks in the corner. Cassidy hits the flipping stunner later in the match, but gets spiked on his head by a Bennett piledriver moments later. In the end, Kyle O'Reilly catapults Bennett into Orange's beach break and locks in the guillotine choke on Bennett while Cassidy takes out Taven with an orange punch and Bennett taps out, and the conglomeration won the match. The Kingdom shake OC in Kyle's hands after the match. Mercedes Moan and Camille are interviewed backstage and Mercedes needs to handle business and get on a private jet, but Camille is staying behind. The acclaimed begin to make their entrance, but MXM Collection immediately ambushes them. Mansur rams Bowen's head into the entrance tunnel and grabs a mic while Madden drags Caster's body over to them. This is what happens when daddy ass isn't around to protect you, you get dropped on your asses. They wanted to keep it light and fun, but the acclaim took away their Grand Slam fashion show moment away from them. MXM challenged them to a match at WrestleDream and vowed to take their spot. When the numbers are even, MXM comes out on top. That's why MXM will have a third man in their corner at WrestleDream who will help them kill Scissoring forever. There's a video where Chris Statlander says everything went wrong for her after Mercedes Moan came to AEW. Her best friend became obsessed with her, and she let Stokely get in her ear, now she's a born-again Kristen, and she's coming after Mercedes and the TBS title. The conglomeration are interviewed backstage and Rocky Romero is pissed off after Jericho called him a lackey in the conglomeration. He's going to take out Brian Keith to show the learning tree what he's all about. The next match happened between Chris Statlander vs Amira. Camille is watching the match on a monitor backstage. Statlander gets the jump on Amira with a delayed vertical suplex. In the end, Chris then hits her finisher for the very quick squash victory. Chris Jericho was interviewed backstage about his match against Mark Briscoe at WrestleDream and he said that nobody has had the impact over generations like Jericho has and now it's time to reinvent himself again. He was the Ocho, but now he's going to become the Noob when he wins the ROH world title, thanks guys. The next match happened between the Beast Mortos versus the Butcher. Roderick Strong joins commentary for this bout to discuss Mortos going back and forth between Undisputed Kingdom and LFI. Mortos rolls over Butcher's back, gets him down on the mat, and snaps his neck with his feet. Mortos charges Butcher in the corner, but Butcher moves out of the way and Beast goes spilling out of the ring. Later in the fight, Butcher hits a half Nelson into a backbreaker, then follows up with a jackhammer for a two count. In the end, Mortos hits a backbreaker of his own and lands a flying headbutt for the three count and won the match. Roderick Strong cheers on Mortos win, and Jake Roberts is watching on a monitor backstage. Harley Cameron is pissed off at Anna Jay for not being there to help Soraya on Dynamite while Harley was pulling wood out of her ass. The next match happened between Lance Archer versus Matt Brannigan. Don Callis joins commentary for this bout, thrilled to manage a wrestler who actually listens to him. Archer easily squashes the Jabroni Jobber and finishes him off with the blackout for the win. Jake Roberts and LFI are interviewed backstage from Tuesday's Dynamite taping and they don't care about rules and are hungry. Rules and bones are meant to be broken and you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Anna Jay responds to Harley's promo. She watches out for herself and is ready for anyone. She said that Harley wants to kick her ass, but this ass kicks back. The next match happened between Brian Keith versus Rocky Romero. The action heads outside the ring and Rocky jumps off the steel steps but is caught in an exploder suplex on the floor outside. Rocky lays in multiple chops later in the fight and hits a spinning DDT for a two count. Keith avoids sliced bread and hits a knee strike for a two count and connects with a headbutt on the top rope. Romero hits avalanche sliced bread and is favoring his knee afterwards and even so he connects on a suicide dive, but is limping around. Big Bill shows up while the ref is distracted and he wipes out Rocky. In the end, Brian Keith hits Diamond Dust and defeated Rocky Romero by pinfall. Bill and Brian retreat from the ring as Orange Cassidy and Kyle O'Reilly run in and the babyfaces assist Romero to his feet as Rampage goes off the air.